Hello students, good morning. Let us see today in the digital image processing one important topic that is elements of visual perception. The content of the element visual perception first a small introduction and then we will see the basic elements of visual perception. In the basic elements we will see about the structure of the eye, image formation in the eye and the brightness adaptation and discrimination. Visual perception. In human vis visual perception the eye acts as the sensor or camera, neuron acts as the connecting cable and the brain acts as the processor. The basic elements of visual perceptions are structure of eye we should know first and image formation how the images are uh, in the eye level and the brightness adaptation and the discriminations we will see. This is the structure of the eye you just see the eye is a very important part in our body we know so the eye level uh, Irish, we should know about the Irish lens functions, uh, scleria, choroid, retina and the ciliary body, how it is functioning, definitely we should know. The eye is nearly a sphere shape with an average diameter of approximately 20 mm. Three membranes encloses to the eye that is cornea and sclera that is the outer cover the choroid and the retina. The cornea is a tough one and a transparent tissue that covers the anterior surface of the eye. And then the cornea, the, the continuous with the cornea, the sclera, sclera is an opaque membrane that encloses the remainder of the optic globe. The choroid. The choroid lies directly below the sclera. This membrane contains a network of blood vessels that serve as the major source of nutrition to the eye. Even superficial injury to the choroid, often not deemed serious, can lead to a severe eye damage as a result of inflammation that restricts blood flow. It is uh, going to arrest the blood flow to the eye. The choroid coat is heavily pigmented and hence helps to reduce the amount of extraneous light entering to the eye and backscatter within the optical globe. The choroid is divided into the ciliary body and the iris is a diaphragm. The later contracts or expands to the control the amount of light that enters to the eye. The central opening of the iris, that is the pupil, varies in the diameter from approximately 2 to 8 mm. The front of the iris contains the visible pigment of the eye, whereas the back contains a black pigment. The lens is made up of concentric layers of fibrous cells and is suspended by fibers that attach to the ciliary body. It contains 60 to 70 percentage of water and 6 percentage of fat and more protein than any other tissue in the eye. The lens is colored by a slightly yellow pigmentation that increases with age. The aged people they are suffering no uh, that is the problem what I told now. Excessive clouding of the lens caused by the affliction commonly referred to as cataracts, cataracts problem we know that lead to poor color discrimination and loss of color clear vision. The lens absorbs approximately 8% of the visible light spectrum with relatively higher absorption at shorter wavelengths. Both infrared and ultraviolet light are observed appreciably by proteins within the lens structure and in excessive amounts can damage the eye. The innermost membrane of the eye is the retina which 
lines in the inside of the wall center posterior portion when the eye is properly focused light from an object outside the eye is imaged on the retina pattern vision is afforded by the distribution of discrete light receptors over the surface of the retina there are two classes of receptors cones and rods the cones in each eye is number between 6 and 7 million millennium they are located primarily in the central portion of the retina which is called fovea and are highly sensitive to color humans can resolve fine details with these cones largely because each one is connected to its own nerve end muscles controlling the eye rotate the eyeball until the image of the object of interest falls on the fovea cone vision is called photopic or bright light vision the number of rods is much larger that is 75 to 150 million are distributed over the retinal surface the larger area of distribution and the fact that several rods are connected to a single nerve and a single nerve end that reduces the amount of detail by the receptors rods serve to give a general overall picture of the field of view they are not involved in color vision and are sensitive to low levels of illumination for example objects that appear brightly colored in daylight when seen by moonlight appear as colorless forms because only rods are stimulated this phenomenon phenomenon is known as scotopic or dim light vision image formation in the eye so far we are discussed about the structure of the eye now how the images are stored in that eye level image formation the principal difference between the lens of the eye and the ordinary optical lens is the former is the flexible the radius of curvature of the anterior surface of lens is greater than the radius of its posterior surface the shape of the lens is controlled by tension in the fibers of the ciliary body see this is the image formation in the eye level to focus on distance objects the controlling muscles causes the lens to be relatively flattened similarly these muscles allow the lens to become thicker in order to focus on the objects near the eye the distance between the center of the lens and the retina varies from 17 mm to 14 mm the refractive power of the lens increases from its minimum to maximum when the eye is looking at a tree 15 meter high at a distance of 100 meter the retinal image is reflected primarily in the area of the fovea perception then takes place by the relative exist existence of a light receptors which transform radiant energy into electrical impulses that are ultimately decoded by the brain next we can go for brightness adaptation and discrimination the digital images are displayed as a discrete set of intensities the eyes ability to discriminate black and white at a different intensity levels in an image considerations in presenting processing result image processing result see this is the the image bright uh, discriminations diagram the range of light intensity levels to the human visual system can adapt is one of the order of 10 to the power of 10 from the scotopic threshold to the glare limit in a photopic vision the range is 10 to the power of 6 thank you